Fresh from the international break, Thomas Tuchel had to manage his squad with many players travelling and playing a lot on national duty. As a result, Marquinhos dropped to the bench, whereas compatriot Neymar, back from injury, also only fit enough to be named as substitute. Opponents Monaco were on the back of two consecutive wins and were hoping to win three in a row for the first time this season. But it was Paris who struck first after a lightning-quick counter-attack. Kylian Mbappe racing clear and striking past Vito Manone. The French World Cup winner showing his trademark pace and then calm and composed when it came to blasting the ball into the back of the net. Paris 1-0 up. And then after good link-up play between Di Maria and Rafinha, the Parisians were given a penalty by the referee. A late tackle on Paris's new signing, paving the way for Kylian Mbappe to score his ninth goal of the season. His third from the penalty spot. And Mbappe back at the top of the leading goal scorers of the championship. Two goals to the good at half-time. Paris, who were denied extra goals because of offside, seemed in control after 45 minutes. Substitutions made by Niko Kovac at the break with Cesc Fabregas coming on. Cesc Fabregas, who had an immediate impact on the team, but first it was Kevin Volland, the former Bayer Leverkusen man, who pulled one back for the Principality side. Feint of the body, brilliant to wrong foot Kayla Navas. Monaco, who grew in confidence. The ball played to the back post. Fabregas there to poke it through and Voland to tuck it home. Two all out of nowhere for Monaco with Paris struggling to get any kind of rhythm. Matters became even worse for the defending champions. Diallo caught in possession by Fabregas and the youngster gave away the penalty. First, a yellow card for his tug on Kevin Voland. But the referee decided it cancelled out a clear goal-scoring opportunity. And that one turned into a red card opportunity for Cesc Fabregas to give Monaco the victory. And the Spaniard did just that. An emphatic penalty. Nico Kovac records his biggest win yet as Monaco manager against the Paris Saint-Germain side who will remain top of the league no matter what, but who see their lead at the top of those standings decrease. Thomas Tuchel's first league defeat since losing to Marseille at the Parc des Princes back in September.